Hey, how's it going, guys? Back for another lesson. Uh, I'll be showing you how to play Stop Loving Her Today by George Jones. Um, just three chords you need to know for this one. Um, actually, there is four chords. Um, due to the fact there is a key change, you do not necessarily have to do the, the key change. Um, but I will show you um, how to play it if if you want to do the key change, which is kind of fairly simple, just by moving the capo. I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, three chords you need to know for this one are G, C, and D. And the strumming pattern, that will be your chord progression throughout the song, is the G, C, and then D. Uh, the basic strum pattern is going to be down, down, up, down, down, up. I was doing the alternate bass line, which is very simple. So for the G, you'll play the low E and then down, up. And then the next time through, you'll play the uh, A string and then down, up. So slow will go this way, low E, then A, then back to the low E. C chord. And what I'm doing there with my uh, ring finger, I'm just uh, alternate, uh, alternating between the A string and that low E. And when I do go to that low E, my ring finger usually rests on that A string. The A string doesn't necessarily need to ring out. Because I know some people may put it up there and think they, that the A string needs to ring out and it's kind of hard to make that chord. But like I say, I just have my ring finger rest on that A string because it doesn't have, uh, necessarily need to ring out. Okay, then it goes to the, the D chord. And then your the bass line is just gonna alternate between the D string and the A string. starts out Pretty much that played that way throughout the entire song. Um, the key change, you will have this chord um, for that first part of the key change, which is a G sharp. What I'm doing there is barring across the, um, the strings on the uh, fourth fret, and then your ring finger will go on to the A string of the sixth, and your pinky will go on to the D string of the sixth, and then your middle finger will go into the G string of the fifth. So um, when it comes to the little key change, it'll go up there. Then I'll show you how you can use the capo to get back playing the uh, normal chords again, which will be the G, C, and the D to make it a little more easier. Like I say, you do not have to do that key change. You can just keep it. Stay right here. So I'm going to play it up to where it, it kind of has that key change. And then I'll show you how I'm going to move the capo um, up to the first fret. And then you'll play that same, like I said, that same G. Same way you was playing a while ago. Okay.
take your hand up there, bring your capo down that first fret, and then go back to G and play it the, the same way you were just playing it. Okay, I'll do it one more time. guys um, like I say you don't have to do that key change you can just leave the capo off and uh, play it the same way throughout uh, if you do want to do a little key change like I say just put your capo up here just above the nut and when you play that G sharp minor while it's ringing out just reach up there and just drop that capo down uh, like I say it's a simple way you can do it without doing uh, actual bar chords for that key change uh, if you got any questions just leave a comment uh, let me know and I'll answer back uh, leave a comment, let me know what you thought of this lesson, and as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.